So in this video, we'll be going over how to standardize a solution, specifically a solution of sodium hydroxide. When a solution is made, there are often mitigating factors that may alter the expected concentration for that solution. For example, sodium hydroxide is hydroscopic, and therefore a mass sample that will be used in a solution may be mostly base, but it may also be partly water. This causes a misleading amount of sodium hydroxide, though usually the concentration of the solution isn't off by that much. To deal with this, we standardize the solution. This means that we determine the concentration of the base more accurately by performing a careful titration of the sodium hydroxide into a known quantity of acid. There are a number of acids we could use to do this titration, but it's best to use one that's a solid at room temperature, non-volatile, and definitely one that's not hydroscopic. Potassium hydrogen phthalate, or KHP, is a great choice as it meets all these requirements. Plus, it's a monoprotic acid, so when it reacts with sodium hydroxide, it'll be a one-to-one -one ratio. We start by massing a sample of KHP in an Erlenmeyer flask. The mass of KHP used should be calculated based on the expected concentration of the base. We can now dissolve the acid with about 25 milliliters of deionized water, though since we really care about the mass of the KHP, it doesn't exactly matter how much water is used. After this, the burette can be prepared for the titration. It should be cleaned out with small amounts of deionized water, drained, and then primed with about 5 milliliters of the base solution, and then drained again. Now the burette can be filled with the base and ready to go for the titration. Now the titration is just about ready to go, except that we need an indicator to tell us when the reaction is finished. For titrating the weak acid KHP with sodium hydroxide, phenolphthalein works well, so we want to add about two or three drops to the KHP solution in the flask. Phenolphthalein will turn pink around the neutralization point for this reaction, indicating that it's over. Now that our titration has been set up, the sodium hydroxide can be added dropwise to the acid, while stirring the flask the entire time, until a faint pink color persists. The volume of sodium hydroxide used in this titration should be recorded, and from here on out, it's all stoichiometry to find the concentration of the base.